Google Apprent I steps are finally out and these are in four different domains be it software application, data analytics, digital marketing and project management and you need to participate as early as possible. If you are somebody with less than one years of experience then you are eligible for the same and we are going to discuss in this video how can you participate, what are the different rounds, is it a worth it opportunity because you will be getting an opportunity to go to Google office work there for close to two years that's a 24 months program and in different different teams of Google and you will be getting that experience that is very much important for getting into the industry in the same field. Many of my friends have cracked this apprenticeship and this can be your chance of cracking that. This video will tell you entirely about this. Make sure you apply for it right now if you are looking forward to work at Google or if you're looking forward to be a part of this apprenticeship at Google. So what we are going to discuss in this video, we are going to discuss about the entire program details. We are discussing about eligibility, rounds and application process. We will discuss about the preparation strategy that you should have in mind and the next step for apprenticeship program. This year it is open for four major domains that is software application. Uh, data analytics, digital marketing and project management. Software application basically you will be working on IT related projects that come into Google or any other company. Data analytics majorly people who are passionate about building charts, building tables, Power BI tools, uh, tools like Power BI and Python SQL. So these are some of the skills that data analytics people would have. So what generally a data analyst does? So you get a problem statement. To understand that problem statement, you work upon the data behind the problem statement and come up with some conclusion or answer. For example, Swiggy is uh, facing some uh, issues or losses in, in some cities of India, for example, Mumbai or Delhi, right? So you need to come up with data, how many people are ordering their food at what point of time, why the sale is dropping, is, the, is it more because of competition, is, is it more because of service, is it more because of less restaurants? So you need to compile that data, get some understanding and build those charts to have a conclusion. So that's what data analyst does. Digital marketing, as you all know, how to uh, market your product out in public. It can be paid performance marketing, it can be product marketing, it can be social media marketing, it can be influencer marketing, there are multiple domains of marketing on how can your product get into the market go to market strategy is something that you build so digital marketing is one phase then is project management somebody who owns a particular project who owns a project from starting to the end if you want to organize something if you want to have an understanding of something then you are somebody who looks forward to a project manager in a company so these are the four major uh, domains of apprenticeship is about eligibility who is eligible for this firstly all recent graduates if you have recently graduated 2024 and 2023 past out you are in any domain it can be b tech m tech msc bsc bca bcom mca matlab any domain from anywhere if you want to start your career with google this is a great opportunity because they don't have any specific eligibility criteria and should you participate like many of you might be willing here i am not very confident with the confidence in here i should participate but definitely this is your chance this opportunity has been specifically made for you if you are from non-it you want to shift to it then this is for you if you're from non-tech you want to shift to tech then this is for you if you are, if you are from tech you want to explore marketing then this is for you if you are from tech if you want to explore project management then this is for you so it is you can say something that will give you an opportunity to change your domain as in along with that google will be uh, sponsoring your entire study part as well as you will be working on google's project in their offices and that we have already discussed about so definitely you should give it a try even if you're not very confident about it I would say even if you're 10, 20% confident, you should go ahead and apply for it. You never know how the process is and process does not involve your domain knowledge. It just involves your analytical skills and how good you are at communication. That's it. That's the only criteria we'll discuss about it later. Next is process and rounds. There'll be four, five rounds. Majorly one is the application round. First round is very, very important in which you need to submit your CV or resume as well as some uh, essay type questions where you need to write about why you want to be a part of this particular program. This is a very important round because maximum of you will be shortlisted based upon your answers. So these answers should show why you are mot motivated to uh, pursue a journey like this. You, sh you should write your true self like why you want to do this particular uh, apprenticeship, your hardships, your challenges that you have faced in the past, if any. And so that involves your application round. You should be very, very true in that application round. That's important. Second is an online 
challenge after you are shortlisted you will be invited for a google online challenge majorly that involves aptitude as well as reasoning questions but maybe some domain specific questions can be there 10 20 percent but majorly it would be aptitude common majorly questions would be based upon your logical ability and common sense third is phone screen after you clear that round there will be phone screen round which will majorly test your communication skills whether you are able to communicate well with people or not so that you can be proceeded for the interview it again will test your motivation skill whether you are motivated for this particular program or why you should be selected for this program then there are two face to face rounds we'll discuss about these face to face rounds also now how to prepare for these rounds first is online assessment ab online assessment ke liye paise pagana i've already told the syllabus would be around aptitude reasoning verbal and nonverbal 80% would be general aptitude again 20% might be related to domain specific fundamentals for example computer science ke logon ke liye like if this software application round you might get questions around cs fundamentals like http ki full form ya networking ko questions ya fir dbms ke questions so basic basic understanding it's not like very very deep questions if you have understanding basic understanding of data analytics python sql hota kya hai basic queries of sql i think you are good to go online assessment doesn't involves domain Domain specific question. Rarely it would involve a domain specific question. It would be majorly aptitude and common sense. Next is phone screening round. It would be majorly based upon your communication skills. If you are able to communicate well with the uh, phone screener, it would be 15 to 20 minutes round. They'll ask more about you, why you applied for the opportunity, what all things you will do when you are selected for this opportunity, and what is your motivation. So these are the questions that we ask in phone screening round. So you should prepare for it well. Because it is also one of the crucial rounds because they don't want to waste the time of interviewers. Ab Google ke do interviewers mara interview round lehe. They don't want ki their time. Should be wasted कि तुम कुछ बोल ही ना पाओ उनके सामने इसलिए फोन स्क्रीन राउंड रखा जाता है जिसमें टेस्ट किया जाता है कि एटलीस्ट यू विल बी एबल टू स्पीक इन फ्रंट ऑफ द इंटरव्यूर्स राइट सो दी टू राउंड नेक्स्ट इज फेस टू फेस राउंड सब दो फेस टू फेस राउंड हो रहे होंगे उसके बाद First face to face round is basic general understanding about you as well as your logical and uh, creativity. How creative you are at answering questions. They'll basically un try to understand your approach towards question, not the exact answer. There's no perfect or correct answer to anything that they ask. It's more about how you are approaching that problem. You are being given a problem. How you answer that problem step by step. How you break down that problem. How you use star methodology to answer that particular problem. So these are some of the questions that you may have. For example, let's say in project management, right? You might be asked a question in which you will be asked if Google is organizing an on site event in their mumbai office what all things you will do so you need to understand you need to break down you need to use star method and finally give an answer ki these are the steps that i'll follow for a successful event at google so these are something that that can be there in project management for example for a software application right you might be asked something related to hardware or software be it for example when you type in http like a web address www.google.com what happens behind the scenes so this can be another question similarly for digital similarly for digital marketing you might be asked something related to digital marketing for example nike wants to launch their new particular product that is more specific to people of age group 40 to 45 so what would be your marketing strategy your digital marketing how can you uh, like use digital marketing strategies to get their product out so many of these questions any of these questions basically testing your common sense if you are able to answer these questions in the interview that is important next is round two where will be mostly asked behavioral questions your motivation to join this program some maybe technical questions or main specific questions for example something related to data analytics or something related to software engineering like they want to see why you have selected data analytics right you should have selected you could have selected software engineering also why only data analytics so you should have some some understanding or background so that's important and necessary resources for prep aptitude as you already know it's more about practicing problems and uh, you can use various websites that are available online india pix is one of them previous year questions i'll try to find it out and share it in my telegram group many people are already there in the telegram group close to 2 lakh people and uh, you can also join in to get these uh, relevant questions apart from that i keep on sharing a lot of other problems a lot of other job opportunities a lot of other resources so it would be very very useful if you join that it's uh, t.me/goelarsh if you search arsh goel youtube there's so many fake groups also please join the original one next is read about the topics uh, or do coursera certifications coursera certification the, like you can access these courses for free on coursera right so this google data analytics Uh, certificate this google project management certificate this google digital marketing certificate so it's a close to 10 12 hours course on uh, coursera you can do it for free you don't need a certificate to learn about them so certificate is paid at some point of time but you can do it for free you can study the co- content for free that's important right so this is something that you should consider for preparation of this particular program so that's all it for this particular video hope you understood it now make sure you go and apply for it also you can join the telegram group where there are a lot of people who are in the same boat and who are looking out for opportunities resources and you can also be a part of this if you have any doubts let me know in the comments below thank you so much all the best good luck and bye